Hi everyone, I am currently in Santorini, Greece right now and I thought what better time than now to do a quick get ready with me. I usually stick these into my vlogs but lately I have gotten a couple snaps about um, doing like a, an actual get ready with me, one that isn't haphazardly put together in my vlog. So here we go. Um, this morning is our last day at our hotel on the caldera side of Santorini and um, to this afternoon, I was gonna say tomorrow, but this afternoon we're actually going to be switching hotels and we're gonna be on the beach side of Santorini, which is at Kenmari. We're in Fira Stefani right now. So I was gonna show you guys what I packed for my trip in terms of skincare and also makeup, but I had to be a little bit creative since I didn't bring a tripod with me. So you guys are actually on all of my skincare right now. This is where you guys are perched on. You guys might recognize this from my Yes Style haul that I did in a vlog a little while back. Um, this is from Yes Style. I will link it below in case you are interested. But as you can see, I can't really show you my skincare because it's acting as my tripod. So instead, I thought I would do a get ready with me showing you the products that I brought with me and talking about them. So this is all of the makeup that I brought with me. I know it seems like a lot, but I also have like skincare in here. Uh, or sorry, not skincare, hair care in here. Um, it's really not a lot of products when you break it down. Um, I brought a lot of palettes with me because it's really easy and convenient and travel friendly. So let's get started. And also, I don't have a mirror in front of me because I'm in front of a window. This was a impulse buy at the Zurich airport. It's a little pot of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, which I absolutely love. And I've never seen them in these little cute pots before. So I thought I would pick one up. I'm gonna show you the brushes that I brought first. So I have them in this Hakuhodo uh, travel case. It just allows you to stick a few brushes in here, clip flips closed, and then you can roll it up. Um, so these are the brushes that I brought with me. Um, nothing super exciting. I have two eye brushes here, the MAC 217 brush, and then this is a Sephora domed brush. Anastasia highlighting brush or face detail brush. This is the setting brush from Real Techniques, the multitask brush from Real Techniques. This is my new favorite love, the Pro Featherweight Complexion Brush from Sephora. Um, this is a Hakuhodo brush. Uh, I use it usually for powder or highlight or blush. Um, this is a Wayne Goss brush. This is the air brush. I absolutely love this for powder. And then the Chanel Blush Brush. I can do my entire face with these. I think I might even have more brushes than are necessary because a lot of these are multitasking brushes. So, you know, I could probably have gone away with maybe only bringing half of the brushes that I brought, but I had the slots for it. So I figured I would just bring enough brushes. I thought this would be a good time to do the get ready with me too because um, I have some time to kill and also uh, I have to like pack all of my stuff up anyway for when we switch hotels. So I kind of have to have everything in one place. I shoved everything into this clear plastic bag that I bought from probably Walmart. It might have even come as a freebie. I feel like I paid money for this. Maybe Target. Um, it's just really convenient. It's. Uh, I wish the slot was a little bit wider so you could, you know, reach in there and grab a lot of things a little bit easier. But it is fairly handy and it actually holds a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start with my base. Now my base, I've only brought two things, one like base and then one concealer. This is the Chantecaille Future Skin, which I absolutely love. Um, I always confuse this with Just Skin. Um, Just Skin is actually my preference. You get more product in the Just Skin than you get the Future Skin. And I feel like the Just Skin just applies a little bit better. Um, this I feel like is slightly sheerer in texture and consistency than the Just Skin. It's really odd because this is supposed to be a foundation whereas Just Skin is a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like this has a lighter coverage. I also brought this little spatula with me to scoop out the product because since this is in a jar, um, I don't really want to be dipping my finger in there, so I have a little spatula. I got a bunch of these from Sephora, so if you ever need them, just go to your local Sephora in the skincare aisle and they'll have tons of these. I basically just slather it on my face. I'm actually going to clip my hair back. I didn't wash my hair today because yesterday we were in the Aegean Sea 
um, and I so it's really salty water and then I took a shower afterwards and I feel like my hair just kind of feeling a bit dry so I thought I would skip the hair wash today so I'm just taking this complexion brush from Sephora I think by the time I upload this get ready with me I will have uploaded a few vlogs from my trip so if you want to check that out I will link it below I'll be ready in seven minutes. Can you do the once over? Yep. Alright. You did it. Can you do me a favor and just squish this underwater until it's damp? Thank you, my love. The bow is doing me a favor right now and he's gonna wet the beauty sponge that I brought with me. I decided to bring the Real Techniques um, complexion brush mainly because the beauty blender that I have ripped. I don't know why it did that. It's fairly new actually, but um, it ripped. So I can't use it obviously. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Um, this has held up pretty well, much better than my beauty blenders. Although I gotta say, I prefer the texture of the beauty blender, but this just, it lasts a little bit longer. It's less delicate, I think, and that's, Probably because it's a little bit denser than the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is so airy and fluffy, but like I said, it rips easily, at least in my experience. I'm sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder because again, I don't really have a large mirror here and I'm so used to it. So whenever I see my reflection, I, I gravitate towards it because I think it's a mirror, but everything's in reverse. Concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I was really torn about which concealer I would bring because I really love this one. I really love the Bare Minerals one. I really love the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I really love the um, Sephora Future Gel Concealer, but I just went with this because no particular reason. I just literally grabbed it. It was the first one that I grabbed out of my concealer drawer. So I'm happy with it. I really like it, no complaints. Okay, with the base done, I'm gonna show you guys all of the palettes that I brought, or the makeup things that I brought. So I brought two face palettes. Uh, one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, or what is this even called? Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light Palette. You guys know I really like this. I haven't done a review on this yet, which I'm sorry about. I'm sorry, it's kind of a bit overexposed. Um, but I really like it. It's I like it because I really like the powders and I like the colors. It's a very warm toned palette, but um, if I would recommend it to everyone, I, the answer is no because some of the colors in here are very similar to shades that they already have in their permanent collection. But if you want something that's really great for travel, if you miss out on last year's holiday palette, then yeah, this is a really great uh, buy. But um, if you have something similar, if you have last year's holiday palette, if you have you know, some of the bronzers or blushes or powders already, I don't necessarily think that this is a must buy. I just really like it because I'm a sucker for this packaging. And I also really like it for travel. I mean, this is all I've basically used on this trip and I really love it. The other palette that I bought was the um, Instant Look Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, really love this palette. Great colors. Again, more of like a warmer tone palette, but um, it's great for my everyday makeup look. I also brought another ambient lighting palette. It's just their powder palette because I really, really love dim light as a setting powder and this is the only way that I have it. I am definitely gonna get a full size when the Sephora Rouge sale happens this fall because um, yeah, this is just my favorite powder out of this entire palette. I also brought with me the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Just really like it as a setting powder and just to throw in my purse um, to touch up throughout the day. And then last but not least is this guy. So this is the highlight in 01 from Laura Mercier. This is my favorite highlighter. I love, love, love also the Modern Mercury. I showed you guys that in my last vlog, um, but this is just my favorite kind of more natural highlight, the Modern Mercury, all of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors are very kind of in your face highlights, but this is a really subtle highlight, so it's perfect for anywhere, every day, day, night. And then the last little thing I have in a palette is this um, Burberry eyeshadow. It's in almond, just a really great uh, 
wash over the lid kind of shade. It's actually really funny because on this trip with me, I brought the eyeshadow, I brought the eyeliner, I brought the eyelash curler, but I did not bring mascara, which I tried it yesterday. I tried to put the eyeliner without mascara and it just looks so odd. Um, so that was kind of my bad. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, put the dim light all over my face as a setting powder. This doesn't really do anything for oil control necessarily, um, but I do like the really nice kind of flawless, seamless finish that it gives the skin. For bronzer, I'm using the bronzer out of the Charlotte Tilbury palette. And then I'm gonna use the blushes from the Ambient palette. I'm just gonna just mix the two at the top. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, I'm using this because I just have a little bit of it left, but honestly I would probably not repurchase this in the foreseeable future because I really, really like the L'Oreal one. And then lastly, for my brows, I'm going to use the Essence Maybe Brow, which is one of my all-time favorite brow gels. It's just so easy to use, it works really well, and it's only $3.99. That's it, that's basically my face. Um, for lips, I have just been alternating between um, this Dior, Lip Glow Pomade or the Lancome Juicy Shaker, I forgot what it was called, in Mango's Wild because I just like a really light wash of color on the lips. Uh, for evening, I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. I haven't used, been using a lot of uh, bold colors on my lips. I did bring a couple of really bright colors like the Smashbox um, matte lipstick here and then the Marc Jacobs in Boy Gorgeous but I've never actually worn either of those. I haven't even been wearing primer, even though I did bring the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil primer. So the last thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with this little mini Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. These minis, I rated my sample jar before I went on my trip because I had so many samples in there and they're just so great for traveling. I mean, this is perfect rather than carrying a big bottle. Okay, and we're done. I even brought eyeshadow primer with me, but no mascara, I'm crazy. Okay, so this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, chatty get ready with me. Like I said, um, find the link below to the vlogs that I have started to upload for Greece or from Greece. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.